football fans, it is mock draft season. We are back with another play action takes presented by Big City Wings, Houston's wing joint, Apollo's wing joint. Go check them out today. If you're into wings, if you're into people, if you're into beer, go check out Big City Wings if you're in the Houston area. We love our people over at Big City Wings. Go there all the time. Just delicious and delightful. Great times all around to be had at Big City Wings in the Houston area. Also, shout out to our daily fantasy sponsor app, Prize Picks. Use code Apollo when you sign up and get up to a hundred dollars matched on your first deposit. You can deposit in between ten and a hundred dollars and get that completely matched by Prize Picks with free plays. The Daily Fantasy app where you hit more or less on every stat on every league. It's NBA playoff season. There's a lot of a lot of stats to choose from on that. NHL's uh, playoff is about to happen, and then obviously we got the NHL or NFL draft here in the next week. So, um, shout out to our sponsors. It's time to do some mock draft. I'm joined always by Garrett and Noah. How we doing, boys? Doing, doing great, man. Great to see your face. Great to see it both is. of y'all's faces. Yeah, bro. I don't just... know. I don't know if they they misprinted your hat. It's up to, upside down. I don't know if you noticed that, but might want to. Oh, ha ha! Get some money. Ha, back. This guy's funny. Just, this guy lives in New York he's and he's funny. Uh, Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm just not. Uh, draft season is one of my favorites mm-hmm. because. It's the difference between good GMs and bad GMs, obviously, but the a good draft makes a difference. So it makes such a difference, and a bad draft makes a whole hell of a difference. I mean, mm-hmm. you saw the you saw what a good draft for the Texans did last year with them. Mm-hmm. They it was a division around the playoffs. That's what a good draft can do. So that's why I love draft season so much. And I love making mock drafts our, with my friends. The majority of our childhoods and upbringing in football was consisting around terrible football teams and hopeful draft picks in the top 15 range, top 10 range a lot of the time for both of our teams, Miami Dolphins yeah. and the Houston Texans. Uh, so the draft mm-hmm. means a lot to us. Obviously, this year the Dolphins have a lower pick, and I, I think y'all traded your pick. So, yeah, we don't. Even, Texas yeah. don't even have a first round pick this year. So, which I will say is like a relief in some sense. You don't have to go watch a bajillion highlight tapes of people and talk yourself into a pick if you're un, <laughs> unsure about it. Done that a number yeah. of times over the last how many? I guess twenty five years. Essentially, just <laughs> watching mm-hmm. highlights of a guy that you drafted, and then you're like, all right, this guy's good, and then he comes in and he's not mm-hmm. good. That's not ever fun. But we're gonna go pick by pick. Oh yeah. Tyler Irving. Yeah, I mean, no. Kevin Johnson Deon, <laughs> from his San Jose State. Jordan trading up to the number three overall pick and taking the, the edge rusher, and then oh, he was yeah. awful. Met him at training camp his rookie year, well, but yeah. Uh, well, luckily, luckily for the Texans, our first round picks have been, for the most part, pretty yeah. solid. So I've always been overall, a supporter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, overall, but pretty good. But this year, like you said, different. Don't have one. Honestly, sh- a, a, a weight gets picked up from my shoulders because like i don't have yeah. to pick for the texans no one has to pick for the yeah. texans no we have some fun dicks now so fuck it yeah mm-hmm. so, so we are the, cooking here yeah we got the best roster in the nfl now and and i, I don't think that's you can i, I think for you i think that's a very valid statement so i'm not worried about the draft i'm worried about what these other teams are going to do to catch up with the texans and that's what we're about to get into right now so yeah we're right. going to go pick by pick uh i'm going to pick first in the order garrett's going to pick second and noah's going to pick third uh, we'll just go in that order all the way till pick 32. Uh, number mm-hmm. one overall pick, the Chicago Bears are currently on the clock. They've been on the clock for a while now. They're, they're, they should take Caleb Williams. I'm going to take Caleb Williams here. Yeah. All right. So I, uh, that's the most that, obvious. That's yeah, what right? should that's happen. I don't know what the people in Chicago are thinking, but that needs to happen. It's the best quarterback in the draft, and you have the number one overall pick. You just traded away your previous number one uh draft pick a few years ago justin fields take caleb williams get on right yeah i mean playmaker just through and through i don't understand the hate that caleb gets but we'll see how he does i was how he thrives in chicago i was a little worried about caleb going to chicago before this great offseason they've had i was like he's gonna go in there with no weapons nothing around him right but now they have keenan allen there's dj Moore, cole Komet. maybe they'll grab a tight end and another receiver in this draft somewhere and that that will make that kind of made up and now caleb's going into a good situation yeah. so we got whiteboard yeah. it's whiteboard yeah, season no. as well so as if you're watching this on youtube mm-hmm. subscribe to the apollo hou youtube um hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode of pat otg zero gravity i mean we got tons of podcasts going on the youtube uh, go, we got a, a yeah, lot a of original of content tons. as well so go check out apollo hou on youtube hit that subscribe button for us 
There you go, baby. Cheers. With with the next pick, I okay. They're gonna take Jaden yeah. Daniels. They shouldn't take Jaden Jane Daniels, but they're gonna take Jaden Daniels. Yeah, I think they should take Drake May. But I think with the include, I think with them picking up Cliff Kingsbury as their mm-hmm. OC, they are fully going in of like let's have a college football play uh, a college yeah. football offense it's in red Washington. air raid so, kind of mix and i think that's perfect for yeah. Jaden daniels uh he, he has a couple wide receivers running back he's got those things it, it's not the worst situation for him but it's also washington so it could be the worst situation for him yeah well i mean we'll see like i said he's not my favorite prospect at quarterback but he's a playmaker they got play they, they gave him a guy who can turn guys into playmakers yeah we'll see yeah, well, it's the biggest we'll see. I think in the top three, no, it absolutely is the biggest we'll see. And I think I, I personally think it's the wrong choice. I'm with you, Garrett. I think Drake May should go two. I think he's the second best quarterback in this draft. But Jaden Daniels has some stuff. I like. I don't. I don't. I don't hate Jaden Daniels at all. And like you said, it, on, on, in Washington with Cliff, it could be interesting. Um, all right, so I'm next. I'm gonna go. I think New England and Drake May is a match made in heaven. If he's available at three, they should absolutely scoop him up. So Drake May. Yeah. Yep. I I agree. He is country Brady. Uh, yeah. So. Prototypical mm-hmm. New England pick there. Uh, what yeah. I thought they were going to do in previous drafts, and they I mean they did it with Mac Jones, and I thought it was like, oh shit, we got another Tom Brady in our hands. Turns out he sucks. So that's good. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. No no qualms there. Number four pick, New York Giants. Um, so I'm looking at the mock draft from. Peter Schrager on NFL.com. He has them going J.J. McCarthy, which would be very funny. So you have the Giants. That's what he up. has. But uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go Arizona, and I'm going to take Marvin Harrison Jr. Because why, yeah. why wouldn't you do that? I mean, get a star wide receiver to go with your quarterback to, who you've already paid. And I'm not saying that Kyler Murray's like all star worthy of a giant contract like he is, but he is good for the most part. Yeah, uh, he he makes a lot of dumb mistakes, but. A lot of quarterbacks do. Give him a playmaker. Give him Mar- Marvin Harrison Jr. Yeah, he's uh, Kyler is one of the most underrated quarterbacks in in the league right now, and that's why there's been a lot of smoke about Arizona trading this pick. I just think that's the wrong move. I think you go get this generational talent in Marvin Harrison Jr. Pair him up with Kyler, who is a good player, who is a good quarterback. And Arizona with a new head coach, they need help. They need pieces. Marvin is the one to get. Yeah, he's he's great. I love Marvin. I wish we were in a position to get Marvin. Kind of glad we're not. But Marvin pairing him up with anyone, he's one of the best wide receiver prospects I've ever seen. So yeah. he just immediately – he's a difference in maker the, in immediately. The league, so that's a great pick for Arizona. You need a quarterback, you need a star wide receiver, and you need a star edge rusher. Uh, Arizona would have two yep. out of the three if they do this because they already have their quarterback. I'm not saying he's top ten or top five, but they've already paid him. So they're kind of stuck in that situation. Give him a playmaker and see what happens. Yeah. Yep. Noah, I thought you were next. You are. Oh, I am next. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, so this one, this is an interesting uh, position in the draft because a lot of people have someone trading up to five. Like usually it's Minnesota. Sometimes it's yeah. New York. I think LA stay. I think LA stays put because they really, really really need a receiver. Yeah, badly. <laughs> they really need Malik Neighbors. Ooh. I mean, they yeah. they they traded they traded Keenan Allen. They let Mike Williams walk. Their next best receiver is Quentin Johnson. You can't oh. let that happen. You need to get in a guy to help out Justin Herbert right away. Like you said, Stoney, the things you need in this league, star quarterback, star receiver, star edge rusher. They already have a star quarterback. They have a great star edge rushers. They get the star receiver now. So mm-hmm. going to like leak neighbors. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. If if someone trades up for JJ McCarthy, it's their I also funeral. hate Malik Neighbors for what he did to me on signing day. Um he just committed there. He just committed <laughs> yeah. to Mississippi State and then all of a sudden all of a sudden, right before he went on stage, LSU called and offered him and he went. And he just went to the more superior. No, that's school what Mississippi in every kids way. do and Louisiana yeah. kids do. If you don't get the call yeah. from LSU, you go to Ole Miss or Mississippi State. Uh, he ended up getting the call. So I, he did well. Whatever, fuck them. Yeah. Um, so, all right. The Giants are an interesting team in this draft because they have a lot of holes to fill. Quarterback is an option, right? A lot of people have them getting quarterbacks. Um, I don't think they do that. I think they paid Daniel Jones a lot of money. This is the last year where they're really kind of 
glued to him. They really, they, he's like, they have to stick with him at least through this season. Um, so I think they get him all the help they can get. Some people think JJ McCarthy might go yep. there. I don't. I think they grab Roma Dunze. I think they grab a receiver. Ooh. Yeah, maybe. I, in my opinion, it might be a little bit of a reach for six, but they just they they need they need offensive playmakers. Yeah. And Rome's a guy who has a lot of upside. And it's a it's a three you're quarterback right. draft. And if you're going to settle for mm-hmm. JJ McCarthy, I would rather you do that later in the first round. If you're going to settle, um, mm-hmm. you don't have to settle. You yeah. can just tank next season, be bad, and then go get your quarterback <clears throat> next season. So yeah, yeah. yeah no. Uh, it's funny because I, I thought the most New York Giants – so um, the most New York Giants pick possible right here would have been Joe Alt. Yeah, I, I almost That would have just that. been the most Giants pick. Mm. But they they desperately need Something. star power yeah. at, at, um, at receiver and running back. They just need that so badly. So Roma Dunze fills that need right away. Yeah. I love his upside. He's going to be a good player for them. So Yeah, he is. That's a good pick. He's going to be great. So is it me now? Yeah, it's done. Okay. It is it you, is. Um The smart pick for Tennessee would be Joe Walt, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tons. I don't know if I like it, though. I, I, I feel like it's going to be an owner's pick because they hired someone that is just going to be a yes man for them. I'm, I'm going to do something crazy here, boys. Oh. oh Uh-oh. Brock Bauer. I think I know what you're about to do. Yeah, I knew you. I knew you were going to oh, do that. Really? Because I, I think the owners wow. want to get some kind of star power in there. Someone that's from the South, Georgia, probably have mm-hmm. a, a handful of Georgia Tennessee Titans fans, and they, that sells some jerseys. Maybe that gets some people in the doors. And the smart pick is obviously Joe Alt, and that's what's mocked here by uh, Peter Schrager. But yeah, I'm going to go Brock Bowers. Get some star power in there. Sell some tickets. Sell some jerseys. Even though it's probably not. The correct pick. I don't know. I disagree. Yeah. I think it is the correct pick. I think the fact that Brock Powers is even slipping as far as he is in a lot of these mod drafts is insane to me. I know that the teams have needs, but Brock Bowers is a guy. He, I mean, you, uh, he might be the biggest home run hit out of all these guys. He's the most pro ready player in this draft, other than maybe, I don't know, Caleb. I don't know. You know yeah. what I mean? So, I love the I absolutely love the pick. Um and I hate it for Tennessee. If Tennessee if I have to play Brock Bowers twice a year. Yeah, and they already have D Hop, so that really opens good. the field a little bit for yeah. uh DeAndre Hopkins yeah. on the other side. And, and they and they have Will Levis. They want him to work so bad. Get him as get him I mean, guys. The way he know? played against Miami last year, if he can just do that more often. Yeah. <laughs> they've got a quarterback. So yeah. I'm gonna I know. Go yep. Brock Bowers. That, that just makes sense in my brain. Yeah, I it's a it's a wild card, but I like it. So, I'm looking right now. The, Joe Alt's still on the board, mm-hmm. and I think this guy is – he's a lock for future All-Pro. Mm-hmm. We have the Falcons next who have Jake Matthews yeah. and some other guy at tackle. <laughs> I don't know his name, but I've, apparently, you know, Caleb McGarry. Mm-hmm. Can Joe Alt play left tackle? Or, excuse me, right tackle? I'm sure they can. He probably could, but he's going to come in as a true left tackle, I believe. Yeah. Hmm. And they just paid a quarterback one hundred and eighty million dollars. Uh, yeah, you would that's like true. to protect him if you're going that route. That's mm-hmm. makes sense in my brain. There's a couple really this good is, tackles on the board. There are. This is what I'm gonna do. I think they grab. I think they go defense. I think they grab Dallas Turner here from B- Bama okay. because they have, like you said, they have their quarterback. They gave him all that money. Their offense is loaded. Their offensive line is solid. Sneaky good. You get in some athletic, gritty SEC pass rusher in there. Things change uh, for <laughs> things change in the NFC South pretty quickly. Yeah. I think. Mm-hmm, I yeah. think the Falcons are looking like the best team in the NFC South. So and Dow- Dallas is a dog, and he he just has Atlanta written all over him. He just seems like he fits that 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 defense and what Raheem Morris is going to try to do yeah. there. So well, yeah, fully yeah. on Alabama and Falcons fans as well. Uh, sell yeah. some more jerseys. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Because they've got the offense locked um, up. So, yeah, I, I like it. And yeah. Sure up the veteran defense yeah. and get a rookie in there. Have some fun. They yeah. could go Joel to make him right tackle, which would be the craziest set of tackles you, yeah. you can have. But yeah. I think they go I think they go Ed Rusher. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, so the Bears, the Bears are at an interesting position here because they probably want to grab another receiver, another offensive playmaker. But 
I mean, but Brett Bowers is off the board. Rome's off the board. Neighbors is off the board. And Harrison's off the board. Um, and I don't know what their tackle situations like. I don't think that's a big need for them. But when you do see Joe Alt available here at nine, who is a future all pro guy, and you draft Caleb Williams, who is the future of your franchise and might be the first good quarterback they've ever had, I say they grab Joe Alt. I think I think they get it. Protect Caleb. Yeah, I like it. I mean, yeah, you know that's a good pick. I mean, you just grabbed a a face of your franchise, your star quarterback. And you grabbed a star uh, tackle. Yeah, that's in the to- all in the top ten. Yeah. That's a huge win. Mm-hmm. That's a huge win for them. So I like the pick for them. Joe Alt anywhere would be good. Yeah. So mm-hmm. him in Chicago, he's 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 nasty. He's gritty. He's tough. Perfect for Chicago, uh, sh- the Chicago uh, philosophy and yeah. culture. So the Jets are on the clock. Tenth pick. Um, if you're the Jets, you're hoping that Joe Alt falls to you. If not, we saw the offensive line last year. We all did. Bad. Yeah. And they, they shored up the defensive line in a way um, in the offseason with the trade. I'm going to take Talise Fuaga out of Oregon State. Yep. Offensive tackle, Ooh. get Aaron Rodgers a little bit of edge protection. Um, even though he's going to be a rookie, we've seen rookies come in and just be very good immediately in the NFL on the offensive tackle uh, side. Could also flop, but they, they need an offensive tackle. Yeah, Fuaga. Yeah. I like it. I like it. They are so bad on the offensive line. It's so really it's, insane how bad they are. Uh, their yeah, offensive line. it was yeah. very funny to watch last year as a Dolphins fan. Look, as an Aaron mm. Rodgers kind of like hoping, I was hoping that was going to be cool. Yeah. And look, even I'm not even going to blame what happened on their offensive line because that was no, crazy. That, that was a freak accident. He, yeah. he needs help. Yeah, he needs help. Hmm. Does Minnesota take a quarterback here? Do they grab J.J. McCarthy here? There's, there's been rumors. You would think that. They that like yeah. There's rumors, and also there's rumors that they trade up to the top five and grab him. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you do that, but now it's at 11. Hmm. You know what? I mean, why not? I'm just going to say they grab J.J. McCarthy yeah. here. Yeah, I think that makes sense. They, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. I don't think it makes sense, but. Everyone thinks it makes sense. Yeah. Including maybe Minnesota. So yeah. I'm gonna say they grab JJ McCarthy. They don't want to run out of um, jobs again this year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the that. thing. They, 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 don't, they, they don't have a choice. Even though JJ isn't the best option, they just they are so depleted at that position right now. It's like that, JJ that was is the best option. That and then also I think JJ McCarthy can sit for at least half a season with Sam Darnold, yeah. you know taking the helm. Mm-hmm. I would prefer them grabbing like Penix. Okay. But yeah. the thing is, I, I can see the tools that JJ McCarthy possesses and yeah. what he can bring to the league and to a team uh, when he's prepared, when he's ready. Yeah. So why not just grab him here? They have all kinds of talent on across the board. They have a great, uh, Minnesota's had a great off season. So yeah. they top it off yeah. with a new quarterback, JJ McCarthy. And he's pro ready. I mean, he really is playing in Michigan, playing with Harbaugh. He, he he's, he's prepared more than maybe even some of these other guys like Drake or or Jaden. So um, I don't know if that means he's going to be good, but I think I think it's a good pick for them. Um, all right. He's so, mentally prepared for the league. Yeah. So the Broncos are on the clock here. Um, Broncos need a quarterback desperately, but McCarthy's off the board, and the next next best probably quarterback available is either Penix or Bo Nix, and they're not going to reach that far for one of those no. guys. Um, so I think at 12 or sorry, not 12 at, yeah, 12, excuse me, Terry and Arnold, uh, cornerback, Alabama. I think it makes a lot of sense. I think he's probably other than maybe a tackle or so he's probably the best player available at this point. So, uh, I think that, I think it's a good move. Yeah. Good move. That's good. Uh, Vegas on the clock, 13th pick. They've been known to do this a lot of times. Uh, they love their Alabama tackles. Didn't work out with Alex mm. Leather, uh, Leatherwood, but J.C. Latham just kind of make – Yeah. Because they, they went and got Christian Wilkins, so their defensive line is kind of set. Um, you got your two star edge rushers in that sense. that it, They don't really have a quarterback. They don't have anything, yeah. I, I would say, on offense. So, uh, J.C. Latham, get, get a tackle, build from the trenches, and see what happens. I've been mocking J.C. Latham yeah. to your Miami Dolphins a lot, Stoney. Wouldn't hate it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that would 
maybe set off some tra chain reaction and you know cause a run and yep. and tackles, but there are a lot of tackles there are available <laughs> in this draft. See, having the New Orleans Saints pick <laughs> sucks because I think the Saints are in one of the most shit fuck positions in the league yeah. right now, and they could they could do they can go a lot of different options I here. I mean, yeah. goodness gracious. I mean, I think. Um, I think they go defense here. Really? Do they? Mm, Hold maybe. on, I'm looking. I could. I don't know. I feel like they also they might go tackle. That's what I was thinking. They absolutely are going to tackle. Yeah. I feel like they go tackle, especially with you the guys what? available. I think, yeah. I think after J. C. Latham gets picked right here, I think they go uh, Troy uh, Fat Fat Fatano Fatano Fat. Troy F. Washington from yeah. Washington. Offensive line. Get a yeah. interior guy. Get yeah. the run game going with Alvin Kamara. Yeah, wow. sure. Yeah. So I think I feel like that's a safe pick for them because at this point they just need safe picks. They, like I said, they're in a shit fuck position. Yeah. In this league, and that's a safe pick. And he might be he might be solid. It's not going to change anything, but yeah. Yeah. Surely, yeah. I. Uh, you know what's interesting is is the tackle out of Penn State, uh, Olu Fashanu. Yeah. yeah. He's still available. I think he's better than a couple of these dudes that we've already mm -hmm. seen go. But um, I feel like it's just going to depend on depend on the front office and the GM because yeah. you know a lot of guys see different tools and it's just going to depend on them. But yeah, yeah, no, I agree with that. Um, all right, Indianapolis, they're fifteen, uh, solid season last year, nine to seven, got knocked out of the you know the playoff picture by the Texans in the last week of the season. Um, just reminding everyone, uh, I get them. Yeah. I get them taking a corner here. I think they take Quinny and Mitchell out of Toledo. Mm. Um, they need a corner pretty desperately, and I think I mean he's he's going to be an, an absolute animal. Other than other than um, Arnold, I think he's probably the best corner in this draft. Man, that would be tough as a Texans fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm grabbing quick because I think Quinion is, is going to be really good. Yeah, I think he will. He's going to be really good. Mm -hmm. Damn. Seattle yeah. on the clock for 16. Nice. They've had success with Texas defensive players in the past. Legion of Boom, Earl Thomas. Uh, mm. Byron Murphy, the second. Get some linemen in there. Get some defense Ooh. in there. No more Pete Carroll, so they're not going to be necessarily offensive focused all the time anymore. I, I'm going to go Byron Murphy, the second. Yep. Yeah. Interesting. I like interesting. It. I mean, I like it. Byron Murphy anywhere. He's he's a dog. Yeah, he's, he's gonna be good. really good. He's gonna be, great. be a great player. Um, yeah, no, I like it for them. And also, he will look good in a Seahawks uniform. Undeniably, running yeah. around up the middle, he's going to look good as a Seahawks player in a Seahawks uniform. And I think they're are they one of the teams that's uh, rebranding this offseason too? Their uniforms, like with Seattle. I feel like they. I don't. I can't remember if they're one of them. I think it might be next. Okay, I think it might next be year. next year. So yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. But anyways, Jacksonville, I not an ounce of respect for them. I've said it before. No, I'll just keep saying it. Awful, awful in every way, shape, and form. I don't care about them. Yeah. I don't have an ounce of respect for them. I hate that but city. That city's disgusting. It's a terrible place. Yeah. It's a terrible. It's a terrible place. Mm -hmm. I've been through there. Um, they could go tackle here. Interesting. Interesting. That would make sense. I think they do go tackle here. I think they go that Penn State Fashanu. guy. Fashanu. Uh, yeah, Fashanu. I mean, they're they're in a they're in a league or they're in a division where they have to play against Daniil Hunter and Will Anderson Jr. Now, so yeah. I mean, that's yeah, it's just like let's short up, let's get some depth in there. On. And you know what, Jackson, Jacksonville fans, if y'all come at me and say, we wouldn't do that or we're not doing that, I don't care what y'all do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. It's like, honestly, I'm the worst person here to get the Jacksonville pick because I don't give a fuck about you. Yeah. That's fair. Go ahead. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't give a goddamn. Um, excuse me. <laughs> um, all right. So I got the Bengals here. There's a couple of different direct. The Bengals are a difficult one. Because the Bengals have different needs all over the field on both sides of the ball. They need some t defensive tackle help. They need offensive tackle. They need receivers. They need corners. 
Um, they're a little bit depleted at the moment. Um, but I think, personally, Joe Burrow has been getting knocked around pretty much his whole career up, you know, up to this point. Last year, I mean, hurt in training camp, just had a bad start. Um, and I think they want to protect him. So I, I think they take a Marius Mims tackle out of Georgia. Okay. Um, yeah, I think just, just, just shore up that line for him. And I think – you know, I think it makes sense. It's not a flashy pick. Um, I feel like Bengals fans might be hoping for maybe Brian Thomas Jr. there, um, some receiver help, but I think I think that's the the safe pick. There's a lot of safe yeah. tackle picks mm-hmm. in this draft. Absolutely. So, I mean, also, like you said, they saw a year without Burrow playing fully healthy. Yeah. They don't want that again. No, no. We don't want that again. I mean, Jake so. Browning can come back and, and play like Tom Brady for two games, but – you know, fuck Jake Browning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I've got I got the Rams out here at 19. They've got an Aaron Donald size hole in their defensive line. Yep. They, mm-hmm. obvi- they need a little bit more offensive tackle help as well, but I, I think they're going to try to fill up a little bit of defense. This is their first first round pick since 2016 when they took uh, Jared Goff. Crazy. That's not crazy. Not wild. wild. What? Uh, I have them taking Jared Verse from Florida State. Edge rusher. All right. I was wondering. I was wondering when he was going to go. Yeah. This one was either going to be Jared or or Elijah Tulatu. Yeah. But it, either one. Yeah. No. Jared versus really good. Honestly, he, this at the, I think at this point, it would be unlikely for him to fall this this far down the first round. But you never know. Yeah. And Jared verse would be an excellent pick in uh and for Los yeah. Angeles. Yeah. Going forward. Um, Garrett, you're next, right? Yeah, yeah, I am next. All right, Pittsburgh. And you have a few options here. Thank Pittsburgh you. is, man, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is so confusing to me because it's like, do you really need anything? Wide receiver. I, don't know. I feel like with, wide receiver is what they need. <laughs> wide receiver. Wide receiver health. They would... pretty much only have George Pickens now because they got rid of Deontay. Well, I tell you what. So... Yeah. Well, I tell you what, son. I think they go. I think they do go receiver here, and I think they get Brian yep. Thomas Jr. I think they. I think they have two. Uh, I think they have two SEC boys, not including Ad Mitchell. He's new SEC. It doesn't matter. Almost it doesn't count. count. Yeah. Two, yeah, almost. But two SEC boys give Russell some help. Yeah. Yeah. Give Russell some help, and also like or Justin. Hopefully, he's not, hopefully he's not a head case. Hopefully yeah. he's not a head case. We'll mm-hmm. see. So. Could be. Yeah, he def- definitely could be a head case. Um, so I'm in a weird spot with with, with Stoney's Dolphins yeah, here. You should pick. You should give them like the worst possible. Up. Yeah. <laughs> There's. Well, that's the thing. Here's the deal. There's um, two choices here. Defensive tackles is a need the Dolphins have um, to an extent. Um, mm-hmm. Johnny Newton sitting right there out of Illinois, a real dog, a real dog. Mm-hmm. Um, but also, Latu Latu is fallen as well, and he's a goddamn good player. And I know the Dolphins might not really need edge help, but that it never hurts, right? Yeah. To have I guys. Mean, we like, just saw what happened to him last year with uh, Jalen yeah. Phillips and Bradley Chubb both going down, and then Andrew Van Ginkle going down the last game of the season. Yeah, it was brutal. Yeah. So I, I I'm gonna take I'm, if in a world where he's available, I'm gonna say the Dolphins grab Latu Latu. Um, just because the, he, he's a talented as hell, and in depth there is never a bad no. thing. So there you go, Stony. Good, pick. that would be an amazing pick for the yeah. Dolphins right there. He's a really good player. Yeah, he's a really good player, and he's going from playing in, to LA, playing in LA in college, to playing in Miami. Yeah, in in the pros, not a bad, not a bad transition nope. at all. No, he doesn't no. have to go anywhere like like Tennessee. Or, well, Tennessee wouldn't be bad, but Tennessee he goes or to Jacksonville or beach. Indianapolis. Or yeah, no, I, that makes sense. And we'll see what Anthony Weaver does with the defense differently this year. I know the corners are going to be manned up on certain players like Jalen Ramsey wasn't last season with uh, Vic Fangio's defense. So yeah. I think that's going to be fixed and getting more edge help after losing Andrew Van Ginkle uh, does not hurt. Yeah. I like it. Okay, I'm good with that pick. Thank you. Um, Andrew Van Winkle is a fake name, by the way. It's not a real human, but next up. Um, so Philly. Yes. Ah. Uh, Mims is already off the board, correct? 
Mims okay. is gone. I'm yes. gonna go Tyler Guyton. Got an aging offensive line. Wait. From Oklahoma, offensive tackle, Tyler Guyton. Um interesting. I, interesting. They've got an aging offensive line. Obviously, they need a center. Oh, wait. Changing the pick. Changing the pick. Changing the pick. Oh, 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 oh Jackson oh. Powers Johnson. Center guard interior from mm-hmm. Oregon. Uh is one of the picks that I would love if Miami got him as well, but I'm I'm good with Lot too. So yeah, JPJ for Philly. Getting a center back after losing Jason Kelsey. I like it. Yeah, no, that's that's a really I mean, immediately you gotta plug in that hole, which you can never replace no. Jason Kelsey. He's a Hall of Famer, incredible, incredible person, incredible athlete. But at least you're showing that you do care about filling in that position after you retire. Yeah. So yeah. And also, I mean, I think I think Powers Johnson can play kind of anywhere in the interior. Yes, he can play both guards too, so. and center. And he, he's played all of them yeah, at fairly so, an elite I, level in the Pac-12, which is no longer a thing. But, yeah. 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 That's a good, versatile pick for them, for sure. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I have the Vikings here again. Again, I, I'm picking for the Vikings. Mm-hmm. I, I am the Vikings Apparently. GM. Yeah. Um, these are I two. Think, there's two guys on the board. Sorry to cut you off. There's two guys on the board that are have been that Garrett has big crushes on in this draft. Yeah, and man, this would be a really good pick for them. I'm gonna go. Ah, is it too high? I don't think it's too high. Mm-mm. I think they just do it. I think they get Johnny Newton. Yep. Yeah, I think they get Johnny Newton immediately. I mean, he's one of my favorite players in the draft. I hope I wish the Texans were still in this. I mean, honestly, that's where I would pick him to go for the Texans, right there. Boom. Yeah. Um, but Johnny Newton is he's kind of up and down some draft boards. I don't know why he's down. Love the guy. He's a and he's one of honestly my favorite defensive player in the draft. Yeah. Minnesota can grab him right here and just there's their defensive line will be looking young and stout because they just got um Jonathan yeah. Gennard. So I think it's a good pick for them. Minnesota, I mean, other than the quarterback position, is shaping up very nicely. Like, if they can just yeah, figure out the quarterback. I, I, almost, I almost went corner, but I feel like there's a lot of corners in day two that you can grab that would be just as good. Yeah, and they so, yeah. added Andrew Van Ginkle in the Brian Flores defense, and that's like Brian yeah. Flores' wet dream is when he picked him. So Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, all right, so I got the Cowboys. the Cowboys. I got the Cowboys here. Um Des- desperately need some offensive line help. Um, and there's a few. There's a few guys. Uh, but I think they need to start outside in tackles, left tackle and right tackle, but specifically left are like the is other than quarterback the most most important position on the field. I think Dallas takes care of that. Um, and they get a guy that's just in their backyard because Dallas is just Oklahoma. Dallas is just Oklahoma, and they grab Tyler Guyton tackle out of OU. Um I think that's a good pick. I think Ty, you know, I think, I think any any Oklahoma player is probably going to be terrible in the NFL, or at least it's going to take them a long time to get good, like Baker. But um, and he's still okay. But Tyler Guyton, sure, go go go, drive an hour and a half south and and play for your hometown team. Okay. I like it. I don't like no, it. I don't care. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm with, with Green Bay. Yes. Yep. Mm. By the way, interesting. With here. Green Bay, there is a player available who would be the most Packers pick of all time. Are you thinking of what I'm thinking? An Al- Alabama corner. I don't know. I hope. No. Um, ever thought of Haha Clinton Dix, Alabama corner with a funny name? Let's add to the list. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, that's Let's true. Let's add to that the that list. Kool Aid McKinstry. Welcome to Green Bay. All right. I was laughing to the bank like, ha, ha, ha. There it is. Ha, ha. Yeah, Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid McKinstry from Alabama Corner for Green Bay. The guy that I would thought would be a super Green Bay pick was Cooper DeJohn. You're going with Kool-Aid? I, yeah, that would make sense Kool-Aid as well, um, but I went different. Yeah, they love, a, they love a, a fast cracker. They do, but I went, you know, Power 5, Alabama, Blue Blood. They've done it before. Mm-hmm. Do it again. Yeah. No, this, this makes a lot of sense. I like that pick. Yeah, no, I would, I would have, I was also gonna go, or I would have gone corner with Green Bay, but that's just as good as the other one I was gonna get. So that's a good pick for them. Physical, can can kind of play 
anywhere you need them to. So yeah, yeah that's a that's a good pick for them for sure. Yeah. Tampa Bay Noah? sitting here with you're yeah, next. You're, you're up, but Tampa Bay sitting here oh, with, with a good with good options. <laughs> Classic Garrett just not knowing he's picking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm getting confused because I'm also <laughs> I'm also like doing the mock on my phone so I can see. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no. So they don't need. They got Mike Evans back. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Baker is here to stay for at least a little bit longer. They can go. Di- they can go a few different routes. I think you know what? I think they go corner though. I think they grab Nate Wiggins. Yeah, because they. I don't know if you saw what C.J. Stroud did to him last year, <laughs> but he had one of the best games I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, against and he's a rookie, so I'm gonna go Nate Wiggins here. I like Nate Wiggins. I like Nate Wiggins a lot too. So uh, I like the pick for them. I wish the Dolphins could trade up and get Cooper Deshaun automatic jersey purchase. Yeah, there's. <laughs> I, I think there's a reason why we haven't picked for Cooper yeah. Deshaun. I feel like there's a reason. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's like be him. honest here. Let's be he's honest fast. here. He's 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 white. Um, <laughs> hey, we have a great white corner in so, Miami already. That's true. Um, <laughs> sure. Uh, we got. Chop Robinson is available. He is. He is. Cardinals here, and that is a damn good player. Um, but there's always a we but. discussed this earlier. Kyler Murray um, needs help, and obviously we got them getting Marvin Harrison earlier. Um, I think they're going to keep on building that up. I think with their second pick in the first round, they grab Adana, Adonai Mitchell oh. from Texas. Wow. What? Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Arizona grabs AD Mitchell. I didn't see yep. that one coming. What? Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't either. I think they grab AD Mitchell and just revamp the hell out of that receiver room. You had AD Mitchell and Marvin Harrison Jr. to that room in one in one round. Just looking up in Arizona. Okay. Yeah, uh, I feel like I feel like double dipping in receiver in the first round is unheard of. But I no. wouldn't hate it. I wouldn't hate it. No, it would, I, I mean they're get, you're getting the create two of the most. Well, they uh, just they 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 had a solid room for you know the couple years ago. They had Christian Kirk in there. They had D Hop, and since then it's just been de- just awful, just depleted out of out of into yeah. nothing. And they just need to revamp it. Yeah. All right. I'm well. sticking with wide receiver here for Buffalo. So Buffalo obviously traded mm, Stephon Diggs to the Houston Texans. Um, they lost Gabe Davis in free agency. They need literally any wide receiver they can get that falls to them at this point. And who better than Lad McConkey from Georgia? Ooh. Lad McConkey, what a pull! Ooh. That's a region wow. ahead. He's good. I mean, Lad McConkey's good. Going... I, I don't know how good he'll be in the NFL. He was good in college, and he also played for Georgia, so that helps. But I, I don't yeah. know it. The, his face, he probably likes Buffalo Wings. Um, Garrett, you're on the clock with Detroit. I am, and Detroit, man, they're a pretty complete roster. I mean, they, they made it to the NFC Championship game for the first time in I don't even know how long, maybe ever, I think, ever. Second time, yeah. Um, they could go a lot of different options here. They can go best available. They can go whatever. I think they grab, um, I think they grab Chop Robinson here. Okay, I think they yeah. really bulk up that defensive line. It needed some help last year. Aiden Hutchinson was kind of just doing it by himself. Yeah. Which, and Aiden Hutchinson's fantastic. He can easily win defensive player of the year at any year he wants. He's that good. Yeah. But you add in Chop Robinson on the other side. It also they're very close to each other. <laughs> Pennsylvania and, and Michigan. They're just right there. It's I feel like he fits the bill to be Detroit's pick. So this might sound dramatic or this might sound overzealous but i genuinely believe that if chop robinson falls to detroit there that and they grab him that puts them over the top in the nfc i it think could. that solidifies them as the best team in the nfc because he is a damn good player and absolutely good the value there at 20 fucking eight is crazy i like yeah it. no that would be a good pick for them yeah. great pick for them um, all right, so I got the Ravens. Um, need a receiver, pretty bad. I think this is this pick. I've been saying it 
ever since I started doing mock drafts. This is the most Ravens pick possible. It makes all the sense in the world. Um, the Ravens are a team. They love speed. They got a fast quarterback. And they just now they're going to grab the guy who broke the record for fastest 40 time ever, Xavier Worthy, out of UT. Yeah. They're not strangers to drafting Longhorn wide receivers. Devin DuVernay there as well. Yep. Xavier Worthy makes a lot of sense there. It's an extremely Ravens pick, I think. Yeah. Yes. Just like, fat, let's, hey, let's make our offense shiftier and faster. Yeah. So, and they do. They get the fastest guy of all time, apparently. So, mm-hmm. sure. Xavier, Xavier Worthy is a good pick for them, I think. Yeah. I don't know if he'll be good in the NFL, but he'll do enough things for the Ravens yeah. to make them better. So, if he's going to work, it's with a team like Baltimore. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. So I'm up right. with uh, San Francisco. Yeah. Lost the Super Bowl. Uh, Brandon Ayuk is in trade rumors, and they're denying them every day. He is in a contract negotiation stage with the San Francisco 49ers. Do they pay him? Do they not? I've got some insurance for him. Jalen Polk from Washington. They snag him. Second to last pick of the first round. Wow, that's right. He's still on the board. Get get another right. wide receiver in the in the room, Debo Ayuk Polk, Polk for the Deion one Polk. season, and see what happens with Ayuk at, at the end of the season. If you can get him re-signed, or if he goes in free agency, you've got a little bit of insurance with Polk if he turns out to be as good as he was at Washington. Yeah, go wide receiver because they don't have a ton of holes on defense. That their offensive line is incredible. Yeah, uh, obviously Graham Barton is still there uh, from Duke inside uh, offensive lineman and Zach Frazier from West Virginia, but. I think they go wide receiver and try to get some more weapons, even more weapons while they have Brock Purdy on the cheapest contract of all time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, uh, I agree. I use out the door pretty much. It's one of those, oh, I unfollowed you on Instagram, diva yes. type things. Like he's probably going to – they're going to get something out of him. So, yeah, I like I like to pick Jalen Polk. Uh, it is a little – it is a kind of a little of a reach. but. Yeah. San Fran's so good, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. You know, you get to the point, it's like, well, you're a Super Bowl team. Like, you can kind of reach. It's fine. If Xavier Worthy was there, that that was the one I was taking. Last pick of the draft in the yep. first round, Garrett's up. Kansas City champ, uh, defending Super Bowl champions with the last pick of the first round. So, I don't know if you know this, but uh, <laughs> um, Rushy Rice is in a little trouble. A little bit. Just a little bit of trouble uh, a facing bit. a lot of felony charges. So... I would I would have them grabbing like A.D. Mitchell or Worthy right here. Polk is off the board. I think they go next best available, and they grab Troy Franklin just to round out the first round. I mean, he put up a lot of numbers. He put up big numbers in Oregon. Yeah, uh, yeah. Vertical vertical threat. He'll he'll match up well with uh, Hollywood Brown. I feel like that's just you give give Patrick Mahomes his weapons, all right? Yeah, you have a sense. you have one of the best defenses that Kansas City's had in a while in this whole dynasty. Their defense was the best it's ever been. Add in just add in some star power on offense, and you're probably going to make another run. So, I think both of y'all are absolute psychos for taking those two receivers over Keon Coleman out of Florida State. I, I don't think I'm a psycho at all. I think he's a second round wide receiver. I think I think I think, think you're crazy for that. But yeah, but I, I do know, like I, the I like the picks though. I, I think like what I was saying is after 30, they all kind of blend in pick wise, and I think I think there's value with both of those guys as well. Yeah, it's uh it's mock draft season. We're about a week away from the draft. We're recording this on Wednesday, April 17th, but about a week away from the draft. Let's see what uh. Some of these teams do. Um, obviously, there's going to be trades in the first yeah. round. We didn't do any of that because that, that's too many semantics to actually keep up with on a whiteboard yeah. with Garrett in charge as well. Um, that, <laughs> <laughs> he did great. Whiteboard guy over here, Garrett. Yeah, thank, you, um, thank you. But, yeah, football, full swing. Uh, we got draft season. Then we've got training camp, summer camp, all that kind of stuff. People are in the buildings now. It's pretty good stuff. So, football, yeah. we love football. And we're glad it's in our lives right I love now. I love Can't so wait much. for the season to come back. Um, but this has been Play Action Takes, Apollo Media's NFL podcast brought to you by Big City Wings. Shout out to Big City Wings. Great people, great beer, great wings in the Houston area. Go check them out today. And go check out Prize Picks, our da- daily fantasy uh, sponsor. We hit more or less on every stat, on every team, on every player. Go check them out. Use code Apollo when you sign up and it can get up to $100 match on your first deposit with Prize Picks. And go check out our social media pages where we do a daily uh, Prize Picks. 
pick from the team at Apollo with us three and some other guys. Um, yeah, shout out to football. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to Mock Draft Season. This has been Play Action Takes, Apollo Media's NFL podcast. Oh, yeah, special teams, special players. Watch football, watch the draft. See you.